This segment is sponsored by Ohio Opioid Education Alliance. Mary Haven is the oldest comprehensive healthcare facility in central Ohio, and they specialize in the treatment of addictive and mental illness. Jennifer Martinez, the Director of Stabilization Services, is here to talk about how this year has been and what it has brought. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. So Jennifer, from your perspective, what impact has COVID made this year? COVID has made an already complicated set of treatment services even more difficult. Uh, we've seen a reluctance in people to reach out for treatment. We've seen people isolating uh, much more than they used to. And generally, we've just seen a lower number of people seeking out our services, even though we know the need is very much out there. And with the rising number of these cases, is there concern entering into the winter months on top of what they're already going through? Definitely, definitely. When um, COVID came to Ohio initially in the spring, we saw the lowest number of people seeking treatment that we ever have in this community. Um, and meanwhile, we know that people are still dying of accidental overdoses. The need is still there. And there's a lot of concern that with the winter months coming, we might see something similar happen at that point. And when you say winter months, for people that don't know, that is normally a kind of depressing and dark time for people, correct? It definitely can be, especially if you are living with a substance use disorder or a mental illness, perhaps you're estranged from your family, don't have a good support system. That tends to be a very difficult time of year for most people. And we actually see typically an increase in people asking for help with our services during the winter months. Wow, and for people that are watching, maybe they know someone that's never dealt with addiction before or opioids before. What do you say to them if they know someone that's starting to feel tempted by those things? I would say let that person know that you're there for them. Um, let them know that you are concerned for them. Be supportive, ask what you can do to help them through this hard time, and encourage them to do things that are more positive. Maybe read a book or go for a walk, things that we do that kind of provide self-care. And would putting up holiday decorations early bring some joy to some people? It certainly <laughs> could, absolutely. So wow. if that's what's gonna help, then do it. What are some of the signs people should look for? Um, again, for people that might not have dealt with this before, are there moments that they can see and go, that might be a warning sign? I would say you want to look for people who are becoming more and more isolated despite our social distancing yeah. guidelines, people who are more withdrawn, and maybe they're choosing some coping mechanisms that aren't the greatest. Maybe you see an increase in their you know, poor diet, or you see an increase in alcohol abuse, or an increased dependency on other substances that, that may not be very healthy for them. And for people that recognize that they have a problem, how can Mary Haven help? So you have two options. Um, we opened in August of this year what we're calling our Centralized Intake Services, okay. which is located at 1430 South High Street, Monday through Friday from 8 in the morning till 1 in the afternoon. Anyone seeking services with Mary Haven can walk in. Wow. You will be seen by a counselor and a nurse. We'll get you assessed and we'll get you into the correct level of care that same day. That's incredible. Yeah. And for people watching, whether it's them or someone that they know, what is the best piece of advice and hope you can give them as we enter these winter months? Let people know that you're there for them. Yeah. Let, you know, let them know that you care and be supportive of them in whatever way is going to work best for them. That's really good to know. Yeah. We are there for you. And for people that want to reach out, what's the first step they need to take? What can they call or where can they go online? They can call 614-445-8131 or they can go to maryhaven.com and they can find information about all of our services right there. Fantastic. Jennifer, thank you so much thank for you. everything you're doing for our community. And as she said, you can contact Mary Haven today, and you can also go to don'tliveindenial.org for information and help if you or someone you love needs it.